Okay, we are back to our final video. What the algorithm will look like. You know, we'll review quickly and scan through uh, the menu for details. And hopefully this will be uh, transparent as much as we can make it in a short video. And hopefully we get some more uh, feedback later on. Here we go, we'll turn the device on. Our insulin pump. We we'll start with start setup. Yes, no. Uh, we're gonna say yes. Then, as usual, we're gonna go through date. Let's say just we'll just take the default for now, and we'll scan through. And the next page is to uh, do the time and we'll go through here we uh, have the default schedule basal based on the 200 units divided by three uh, three days uh, 72 hours which would make 1.4 approximately off of the 100 units calculations if you take 100 units uh, basal and 100 units uh, left for bolus that adds up to 200 units uh, what the cartridge actually is capable to do for three days yeah, or maybe you know less you can change modify whatever you know your basal need to be and based on that number that you set then you can calculate how much you can use and how long the 200 unit would actually last you so the 200 unit could be for three days could be for two days, could be for one day, depending on your consumption. So let's say it's two units now, and we'll take the default. Uh, now, here at this uh, uh, page where we say yes or no, there's two important things here to notice. When we say yes, your Bluetooth will be active on 16 megahertz, which means that any time can receive data, and then it takes time off on to save power in, in order to uh, make ba battery last longer. Uh, in this case, so we assume we're on auto mode, means we're going to read the BG the number from the CGM side, and the app will communicate with the pump. And if you don't, you put it on uh, to the no position, not activate, activating the auto mode. That means that you save uh, the frequency from 16 megahertz back to 32 kilohertz, which will save you a lot of power on the battery. Remember, one battery here will last only 48 hours. So that's the drawback we have because there's only one battery here in the system. Uh, we need to improve that. We need to uh, add maybe more battery or different type of battery so we can you know enhance the uh, the time that we need to stay on the pump without you know changing battery so we say yes now this max temp bolus basically is the default values set up here uh, to make sure when you do micro bolusing the pump will not give you more than 10 no matter what and that's one feature that you can control that the, for the safety purposes the pump would only infuse a maximum amount of bolus at any time i know 10 units is is, is high but you know you can change depending on your needs so let's say in this case we're going to go down to well, something you know a smaller value and we'll take nine units for example or you know whatever you know units you want to set to so let's go down let's say five or six whatever we'll set some value here then we go to the next page now that's also a, a number you can change based on your needs what your ISF need to be then we'll go back and we set the target BG let's say 100 for now and we'll take that default value now the next uh, uh, next page is do we want to track our IOB? Yes, so we take that. You can also cancel that if you want. The duration uh, in action 
uh, also is you know something you would want to change or whatever you think is appropriate for you. Uh, we discussed that in the graph on the page uh, uh, website. Uh, the details of that you know document depending on you know what type of insulin you take and what uh, what curves you actually want to you know consider for your IOB. So that's done. And then we we'll say set up. Done, yes, no, yes. So we're we'll basically back to the main menu, and that's where your default uh, menu will be. Now, let's say we want to exit from the main uh, page back to somewhere else where you, you need to make changes to your pump. You hold select, and the pump will go back to the actual menu where you can do your settings. So let's quickly review what the options are you got basal setting you got bolus setting uh, you can go change your date time um, that's back to the top of the menu you can change whether you want to be in auto mode on or off <coughs> depending on uh, uh, if you uh, let's say off the CGM for some reason you defaulted back to manually driving the pump so that's where you can turn the option on off if you want so we go back you say suspend pump that's uh, another option then prime you uh, for priming the pump then we can do rewind when you reset the pump and back to the main menu again now <clears throat> let's uh, let's say uh, back to uh, one of the options again and if we select basal for example uh, you you can view your basal see what you're what you set to by default or you can go back and uh, do your temp basal you want to go up go down whatever uh, value you set for whatever time frame that you have in mind you can do all of this uh, uh, before actually uh, uh, you want to know ahead of time what time frame you want to get your, get all your basal set up then back to the menu again now the next option is bolus bolus setting we want to do bolus setting uh, let's say edit uh, it says right now bolus is not set to anything so we go back and say okay we have option none bolus now we have food bolus, and then we have uh, bolus now, bolus food, and none. Let's say uh, we want to go to bolus now. This is the amount. We'll go to 1.5, 1.6, let's say 1.8, we'll take that. Then say, do you want to start the bolus? Yes. Uh, here's your notification. So IOB showed up. That means that's what you put in the system. You put in the system 1.7 units of insulin. So you know your reminder here at any time. Now let's go back to the other options. Let's say uh, you want to go back to bolus, bolus setting, edit. We do the edit, we'll go to bolus now. We'll go back to food, non. Let's say go back to food, food bolus. Okay, now you gotta do your car. Let's do your car. Then let's go back to the carb mount. Then you go back, you do your numbers here. Then you go to the next page. Okay, what's the method? Okay. Oops, I'll jump ahead of myself. Let's go back to the bonus setting edit 
And let's go back to food. And let's activate that. We, we know all of our setting is there. And then we'll say, what method do you want? Do you want extended or normal? So let's say normal. And do you want to do it now? Yes. And here we go again. The B means bolus. So it's doing your bolus. You see your IOB went up. So it keeps track of all your insulin that comes in and then diminishes per time. 25% of insulin as time goes on under the IA action. Okay. So let's go back. And let's go back to, uh, <clears throat> we did the bolus. We have the date, auto mode, suspend the pump, prime the pump, rewind the pump, exit the menu. That's it. Okay. That was for manual mode. <clears throat> now we want to go to uh, our app. And here's our app. So let's see if we can fit it in the screen. This phone is big. We'll go bolus now. And it would ask for Bluetooth permission. Yes. Scan devices. We'll see our devices right here. <clears throat> no. We select the device. Now it says connect to the device. Okay, so it showed up. Now let's say I want to do one bolus from the cell phone. And here we go. You see IB tracking. All right, let's go back here. And let's do a little uh, simulation on your BG number from Dexcom. Uh, let's see if I can get this working correctly. <clears throat> now we go select one. We'll go sandbox, which is the actual uh, data from old days uh, for simulation purposes. We say log in. Contacts Dexcom. Here is the number came in G88. And here is GBG88 and your IOB. Uh, remember, the pump didn't get activated because your target was set at 100 and we are at 88. So it means no action from the pump. And here we are, what our readings are. So this process will continue on uh, as you wish. You're on a closed loop system now. You're talking to your sensor and your pump is keep tracking of it. Let's do one more bolus for fun. So if I do another bolus. Okay. Now we gotta sit here, wait for five more minutes to see another BG number comes and then see what happens. But for all the testing I've done, everything is working like a charm. The BG comes, the numbers are calculated, the app is working, and we're looking pretty good. Okay, thank you. This is our final uh, algorithm uh, demonstration, and we'll look forward to do actual live data clinical testing. That's it.